Uh, all right, my name is Matt Miner. I'm a senior from Scout Catholic, uh, and this is a new poem. So, <clears throat> if God had seen fit, he could have drawn constellations in my freckles using the purple highway veins tunneling beneath the snow of my skin. But he left the constellations to me. He let me create my own beauty. Left the ability to connect my dots with a sharpie so that I could form my own Ursas. But he also gave me shaky hands. The Ursas came out neither major nor minor, only mediocre. And Orion was no longer a brave, broad-shouldered warrior, but a shaky, translucent child. His belt had only two narrow stars. His shoulders paralleled his frailty. When I look at my body, I don't see the night sky full of astronomical beasts and legends that created this universe. I see the sky of a Nebraskan snow that a child has desecrated with stick figures. My constellations are too thin, too pale. They're not bold, they're not strong. My hand triples. I have been gripping, gripping the Sharpie too tightly and the lines are not any straighter. They are tear-soaked and runny. They are a network of cold no nebulas that are chaining my arms to a desolate moon. I cannot pretend that my body is anything more than it is, but the constellations do exist. The dots were better off connected. My hands are not as steady as my soul. Someone who cares will look long enough to connect the dots on their own. I don't need to create my own beauty. I have it already. From the chimeras that sprint across my forearms, the leviathan that swims across my back, my soul is a winged beast with seven heads that spews music and poetry, and I am trying to sing my love out of me because these are the only things that I can offer. And when you look at me, I am beautiful. Not because of my stature or my posture, but if you take the time, you will see the blue ocean that hides behind my pupils and the green seaweed that bobs beneath the waves. My shoulders are narrow. You can count my ribs. You can trace my hips across my midsection. My body is little more than a layer of skin on top of a skeleton. But I love myself. I may not love my body, but how can I hate it? One day it will fail, and I will thank it for my life. It has brought me the world. It has let my soul love. It has given it a voice. And one day the skeleton will stop moving and my seven heads will rise between those ribs, singing as they do.